These are installation instructions for cab number 40410 for John Deere 3E series tractors with fuel tank in the rear. Step 1. See Figure 1. Use the parts list and Figure 1 to identify the steel parts. Step 2. See Figure 2. A. Remove the bolt and nut at reference A. Place four 3 8 flat washers over the hole. Place a foot on the step plate as shown. Place a 3 8 by one and a quarter thick fender washer on the foot and insert a 3 8 by 3 inch bolt down through the holes. Add the flat washers that were under the step plates and a 3 8 lock nut from the cab hardware package. Do not tighten at this time. B. Remove the bolt at reference B and leave the washer in place. Insert an M6 by 40 millimeter bolt into the foot pocket guard hole. Place a 5 8 by half inch spacer over the bolt. Insert the bolt. Do not tighten at this time. C. Repeat the above steps on the left side. Step 3, see figure 3. Install front post 3, front crossbar 4. A. Insert a quarter by three quarter inch bolt outward through the lower hole in the post, the lower hole in the foot. Add the foot pocket guard and a nut. Do not tighten at this time. B. Insert a bolt out through the upper hole in the foot and post. Place a door hinge from the door hardware package over the bolt and add a nut. Do not tighten at this time. C. Repeat the above steps on the left side with the other post. D. Insert two bolts forward through the ends of the front crossbar and then the tabs welded to the front posts. Add lock nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Step 4, C Figure 4. Install right and left rear post brackets 5 and 6, right and left rear posts 7 and 8, and rear boxing posts 9. A. Place the right rear bracket onto the handle as shown. Insert a quarter inch by two inch bolt outward through the holes. Add a nut and tighten just enough to keep the part upright. B. Use a quarter by three quarter inch bolt and nut to attach the right rear post and a boxing post to the right bracket. Note, when the rear posts are properly installed, latch plates will be to the front of the with the notch to the outside of the enclosure. C. Repeat the above steps on the left side. Step 5. See Figure 5. Install rear curtain support 10. A. Remove the lower two bolts holding the caution lights in place. 
place the rear curtain support into position on the ROPS as shown. B. Insert the bolts through the holes in the ends of the support and the ROPS. Thread the bolts into the lights. Do not tighten the bolts until the rear curtain is in place. Step 6. See Figure 6. Install top frame 11. A. Place the top frame onto the bent ends of the posts and insert six bolts upwards and add nuts. Do not tighten at this time. Step 7, C Figure 7. Install the ROPS bracket 12. Place the U clamps of the ROPS bracket open end to the rear over the ROPS bars as shown. Insert a quarter by two and three quarter inch bolt through the clamp. Add a nut. Do not tighten at this time. Insert a 3 8 by 1 inch bolt with 3 8 flat washer up through the hole in the right ROPS bracket and then the slotted tab at the rear of the top frame. Place a 3 8 flat washer over the bolt and add a 3 8 lock nut. Do not tighten at this time. Install door bottoms. See figure 3. Insert two quarter by half inch bolts into the holes in the lower door frame with the heads against the vinyl. Place the door bottom over the holes, add lock nuts, and tighten. Close the snap flaps and or the velcro strips around the rod. Install door latches. This will require the 3 seconds Allen wrench. See figure 1. Loosen the set screws in the collar welded to the door and pull the rod out. Slide a spring to over the rod to the stop. Slide a door latch 1 onto the rod, reinsert the rod into the collar, tap lightly to seat the rod and then tighten the set screws. Note, the vinyl grip goes to the outside with the hook to the inside. Step 8, see figure 8. Install the doors for frame door alignment. A. Follow the instructions in the door hardware package to install the door bottoms and the door latches. B. Install, close, and latch both doors. C. Tighten all bolts from previous steps at this time.
D. Remove the doors by opening them and lifting them up and out of the bottom hinge, then lowering out of the top hinge. Install front panel vinyl 19. A. Insert the quarter by 32 inch rod taped to the inside of the vinyl folder into the pocket at the top of the front panel vinyl. B. Lay the rod sewn into the top of the front panel vinyl over the crossbar. Close the hook and loop flaps around the front posts. Install rear curtain 18. Note: The ROPS remains outside of the rear curtain. A. Place the rear curtain between the cab frame and ROPS. Close the hook and loop flaps around the top frame at the back and sides. B. Fit the vinyl around the rear boxing posts and the rear posts. C. Close the hook and loop flaps around the rear posts and the rear curtain support. Tighten the rear curtain support. Step 11, C figure 11. Install windshield 21 and plastic top 20. A. Place the plastic top onto the top frame and align the bolt holes. C. Place the lower edge of the windshield on the top of the front panel vinyl and front panel crossbar trapping the vinyl in place. D. Raise the front of the top and push the windshield back against the frame. Lower the top over the edge of the windshield, trapping it in place. E. Insert four bolts with quarter inch flat washers through the top and the top frame tabs. Add lock nuts and tighten. G. Reinstall the doors, attach the hook and loop fastener of the front panel vinyl to the doors.